All right, so today's tool of the day is this 4.5 inch angle grinder from DeWalt. Uh, it is a brushless uh, motor. This is the DCG 405B, tool only option that I purchased uh, for our review. So we're gonna go ahead and go over the specs. We're gonna go ahead and try it out and see how it does in the field. And then, you know, don't forget to like and follow. We have great videos coming. And also some of the links below help us out. We're trying to grow, can do without your support and hit the all notification bell. So you get all the videos as they come out. So let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and go over some of the specs. All right, DCG 405B, two only option. Uh, it is a 20 volt brushless motor. It is an XR, three year limited warranty from DeWalt, one year uh, free service and 90 day money back guarantee. Now it is a four and a half inch uh, angle grinder with the, e with the electronic brake, which is a fantastic option. Now it does have a max uh, watts output of 800 watts and uh, no load speed of 9,000 RPMs. The spindle is uh, 5 8 11 and it does have a spindle lock uh, weight. It's about 3.75 pounds. So it comes with the guard, your handle and a Allen key T27 to uh, adjust your um, disc. So uh, let's dig in into the tool itself. All right, so like most of the waltz, they all have this gooey grip. Uh, I have small hands, so for me, it's perfect. Um, I chose the one with the on off button. It does have a little guard around it so you don't turn it on by mistake. This is the one that I like. They do have a version with, it has a longer switch with a safety on it. You know, per se, I don't like it too much, but that's depending on, you know, the way you're gonna use it. So uh, one of the great options that the wall has made that you could remove these four screws. You could actually uh, move the head uh, in reference to your switch, whichever way you want. Uh, so you do have four positions to choose from. Uh, it is a brushless motor. It does have the brake. So when you turn off the grinder, uh, it has up to two seconds to stop your disc, which is pretty nice. So it's about two seconds, you know, uh, for the blade to stop as per DeWalt. So, uh, which seems pretty, uh, pretty accurate more or less. So. So this model does not have the Bluetooth option, so you can keep track of your tools. And uh, this is actually a very nice option. You could go ahead and just move it around by pressing the lever, or you could go ahead and remove it if you uh, wish to remove it by, uh, you know, you gotta find that one little groove and it comes right out. You do have to remove your little lock. Uh, talking about locks, I love this little setup. Uh, it is nice, it does have, like I say, 5 8 uh, um, you know, thread dash 11. Uh, here's where you will put your Allen key and it tells you to lock it this way and to unlock it the opposite way, which is very nice. So it does have a type of, uh, oh, you also have your uh, little uh, spindle lock right here. So you could do it very easily with your hand. And obviously, you know, you should tighten it with your, um, you know, your, your Allen key. So. Uh, you have uh, different options. Since it's 5 8 uh, you could go ahead and put your, your disc on there, okay? You do have to line up these two little tabs. It is spring mounted like a washer with these little grooves right here. There's two of them. So you can go ahead and you can see right through it. You, once you put them in place, then you can go ahead and uh, lock your uh, disc. You know, once you lock it, you go ahead and use your Allen key and you're good to go. Very simple, very nice. So if you lose your key, obviously most of us have an extra Allen key in your toolbox, you know, versus the older uh, key that you, that you used to use to put on the disc. If you lose the key, sometimes you have to use like your needle nose pliers to be able to, uh, you know, get it locked up. So uh, this type of disc, it does have the same thread, the 5 eighths. So you will basically just come, you know, lock your spindle and, you know, just thread it in there and you know give it a nice tug and you're good to you're ready to rock and roll so and that's pretty much it as far as that goes let's take this out nice and gentle i really like this little setup they did here another great feature about the tool is that it has a kickback brake so you know uh it will turn on the brake system if it feels uh, any kind of pinch or any kind of stall. So it'll give you a protection for yourself and the tool. And uh, I love that feature, uh, you know, always when it comes to safety, it's a, you know, a number one. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try to see if we could engage it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
uh, see how it performs and see how loud it is and the weight. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and test the sound level on the tool with the decibel meter. Uh, get an idea more or less what the tool sounds like. Uh, obviously, when you go ahead and do some cutting like uh, metal or uh, stones, it does get louder uh, when you have that friction. So just to get an idea more or less what the tool only sounds like. So we got about 92.7. Let's give it another try. All right, about 92.8. All right, so that's pretty much what the tool about three and a half feet away uh, from the decibel meter sounds like. All right, so let's do some cutting. All right guys, don't forget your safety glasses. The blade stop, very nice. One more. Fantastic, I absolutely love it, and uh, stops uh, right away. So uh, it's a go for me, I'm glad I got it. So okay, let's go ahead and weigh the tool by itself. All right, so tells me 3.9 pounds. If you add the grip, about 312, three pounds, 12 ounces. Let's see if we could add a four amp battery, five pounds, 1.7 ounces. You know, so that's what we're gonna be using. So if you're using a four amp battery with a tool, and let's say we add a blade, 5.3 ounces. Not so bad for a grinder. So, all right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and try out a brand new four amp battery, fully charged. Um, I charged it overnight. And just to make sure, we're gonna go ahead and run it, try to cut this pipe, see how many minutes it'll uh, take more or less to uh, drain a four amp battery. So, uh, you know, with that said, let's get to it. Battery's done. We got eight minutes, roughly 16 seconds. Um, and that's pretty much what I got out of it. Uh, full running time, eight minutes and 16 seconds. On a four amp battery, brand spanking new. Uh, cutting metal. So that pipe stopped it. What we got so not so shabby all right so we did all these cuts 
eight minutes of runtime. So not so shabby. But Another thing that you could do with this one here is you could use, if you have one of these Flexbolt 9 amp, you can still use it and you're gonna get a lot of running time out of it. So very nice option. I don't want to do it with this battery. I'll be here all probably a lot longer uh, doing the cutting. So just that's why I wanted to do it, you know, with the four amp. So as you saw, you know, using one of these thin uh, discs here, you know, generic ones for metal, we could cut that pipe about eight um, minutes and 16 seconds worth of uh, work time. Uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, if you do it, you know, for a little bit here, a little bit there, it'll probably get a little bit extra. You know, uh, maybe the battery, you know, will get hot or something. In this case, this one didn't, but. You know, it's just a little warm, that's about it, but not hot at all. So, all right, that's it. All right, guys, so final thoughts on the DCG405. Absolutely love it. It's got the brake system. You got the adjustable guard. Uh, I do love this uh, setup here for the lock. I like that you could actually pivot the head at your uh, convenience. Uh, you know, nice and compact tool. So for what I'm looking for, it's perfect. And uh, don't forget to like and follow. We have great videos coming. I'll see you on the next video.